Hey y'all, what is going on? It's Jesse Bose from the 19th hole. What I got for you is a rookie refresh for the upcoming touchdown tournament. This course is the same course we used in the previous Monster Marsh tournament. So what I did is I reordered the shots here so that you can see the shots in the order that you will see them in this touchdown tournament. This is commentary from my rookie playthrough for the Monster Marsh. So hopefully this helps you all. Uh, the wins may be different in this upcoming tournament, but you never know, they may be the same. So this should be helpful in helping you remember these shots and holes and how they play. The first way we're going to approach this one is with the rough bump, with the extra mile. For this shot, I definitely recommend playing both these shots at plus 20% elevation. Um, a Titan ball, I definitely would recommend. It's going to take away the, um, the need for any kind of overpower on this shot. So that's why I'm going to go with the Titan ball as opposed to like a Katana or something like that. This hole is just... A very important hole to eagle because it's, in my opinion, must eagle. So two top spin, max right spin. We're going to aim our shot up here with uh, the edge of our yellow ring there along the edge of the rough line. We want that ball guide um, second bounce to be nicely into the fairway to be able to roll up to the green. We're going to play plus 20% here. And then we're going to actually push up a half a ring after this adjustment because when we do adjust for the wind, we do actually go uh, down in elevation. So we have to compensate by pushing up a half a ring. We hit perfect. As you're going to see, this one hits the rough very nicely and is going to roll up towards the hole. Um, the more aggressive you want to get with going towards the hole is definitely up to you. And you could probably go with a little bit more topspin if you wanted there in that instance. So this next shot is going to be with the quarterback. This is definitely another option. I wanted to test this out and see if it worked. I'm playing this shot with a katana ball. So if you wanted to use a, a titan, this shot would be actually even a little bit easier, I think. So we're going to go with our max left spin, minus one bar, and max backspin. So three bars of backspin. We want to land this shot with the edge of the ball guide over that bunker. As you can see here, when I push up, the ball's over the bunker. And now we're going to adjust back uh, max plus 20% for the shot. We're going to use a really good amount of curl because we are going to use that curl to kind of help bring that ball in. As you see, we get a nice bounce and a nice roll. And this one's actually going to stop quite nicely on the fringe for a very easy eagle chip. This is par three. We're going to play this one with a plus 10% elevation. We're going to play this one with a navigator ball and we're going to play this one with a backbone. You could also use other long irons if you feel more comfortable with different long irons, but I like the backbone because of the accuracy that it offers. So the way we're going to play this one is we're going to play max left spin, which is about two and a half bars on the, uh, the navigator, about two and a quarter. And we're going to go half a bar of backspin. Um, we're going to line up um, right there at the edge of the max line with our red ring. Uh, it looks like about a quarter of the way into the rough. We're going to play this shot at max distance plus 10% um, for this shot. And we're not going to play with any kind of curl. We're going with about 2.3 rings here for this shot. Now we are aiming this shot coming in just a little bit left of the hole. As you're going to see, we hit the perfect shot. And the ball is going to nicely bounce here. But it's still going to come in a little bit to the right of the hole. So definitely maybe a little bit more of an offset to the left-hand side is warranted for this shot. This one you can either play um, a hop off the island with a quarterback or an extra mile, or you could play an extra mile shot over the water it landed straight to the next fairway. So definitely you have options here off this tee box. And we're going to kind of look at both ways, I believe, and see what uh, we think about them. Let's see what our opponent does here and how he decides to play his shot here. If you're going to play your shot over to the next fairway, you definitely got to use at least a power three, a power two ball um, to be safe. You know, a Titan would probably be the safest way to play the shot. And... Um, if you use a power two ball, then you may have to play the shot with a little bit of, of overpower. The other option is to play a quarterback where you hop it off the island. And uh, if you're going to play that shot off the island, you definitely want to have at least at least three bars of topspin. So if you don't have that three bars of topspin with the quarterback, then you either have to switch it to an extra mile 
uh, or upgrade your your ball and just go for that extra mile shot over the water and we're gonna have our turn here in just a second we'll look at that a little bit closer uh, we will be playing the shot at plus 10 percent uh, elevation change as well off the tee box so definitely keep that in mind and let's see what we have here as far as our shot goes I have a I have a katana ball in and as you can see with that wind I would have to overpower my shot a little bit um, the thing about getting farther up in this fairway is it gives you a much easier second shot so I think that's what I'm gonna do here is go with that we're gonna go with um, two backspin and four right spin here and we're just trying to aim it we're just trying to land it right about in there so we're gonna go a little bit of right curl a little bit of overpower and this one should have set us up really nicely up this fairway like I said the other option is playing the bump off of the island make sure to play a plus 10 percent you want to use full top spin and right spin and also use a little bit of right curl on that shot so for the second shot here I'm playing it with the Viper you could play it with the sniper if you do have a sniper and if you are not able to get your ball far enough up on this fairway then you may want to have a big dog so definitely depends on how you're going to play it we're going to be playing it about mid distance here and we're going to play with we're going to play with three backspin and two left spin on this shot and we're just going to kind of line this one up as best as we can with the hole we're going to aim it just to the right edge of this hole so 2.4 at mid is going to be 1.1 ring with a plus zero percent so we're not playing any kind of elevation adjustment here on this shot we went three backspin two left spin played it at mid and came very close so we are we are just like a minute amount off on that adjustment uh, as far as our lineup goes for that shot so you want to play that shot just ever so slightly a little bit farther to the right side of the hole if you took at that look at that hole and then you look at the corner of the square that the hole is in I would aim it in between the hole and that corner and that's how I would play that shot so I think we'll try it one more time on the other account and we'll go with the quarterback approach and see how that goes alright so if you do elect to play the quarterback shot where you skip off this island like I said you want to have at least three top spin which we have so we'll go three top and five right here uh, we're playing a plus 10 percent here on this shot I'm gonna go with the uh, the katana ball you don't necessarily need the katana ball here honestly we playing about uh, mid distance here on this shot so 3.6 mid distance is gonna be 3.3 rings of adjustment and we're gonna go with a little bit of curl to the right about half a ball curl to the right we will be good here um, don't think you technically need to use that much curl to the right but it is good to use curl plus the right spin to keep the ball away from that bunker so if you want to play that shot that's how you play the quarterback shot um, you know there's always the possibility of playing the big topper shot to the right with full topspin I just feel it's a very uh, dangerous shot to play in this tournament I think playing it to the left side now that the green is much more flat is definitely the safer and more consistent way to play this hole so we're gonna be playing it to the left side with our extra mile we're gonna go with a quasar ball with uh, three top spin max left spin the thing about using too much top spin on this drive is it can actually put you in a point where you have a minimum thorn shot and you're required to use your all your backspin uh, what I want to do is I want to put us in a spot on the fairway where we have a min thorn shot but we can play it with two to three bars of backspin which is more of the type of style of shot that we're used to playing so I did not use my full curl next time I'll use full curl to go a little bit farther up the fairway into the left but from this position right here we're still going to be okay you play plus 10 percent off the tee box and I'm going to play zero percent elevation change this second shot as you see we're in min 
but we're in a spot where we can go with a couple bars of backspin and be okay with this shot. So we go with about two and a half bars of backspin here for this shot. And we're just gonna line this one up here um, about one square in front of the hole. And we're just gonna go for the roll with that one square adjustment. So we're gonna play min 0% here, which is not much of an adjustment at all with the, the thorn. We hit this one perfect. This one's gonna come in, roll. It's gonna get a nice little roll in here and it's gonna drop for the eagle on the left-hand edge of the cup. It would have been middle of the edge of the cup, except I realized I did pull a little bit crooked. We're we'll playing this one with the Viper and we'll be playing this at plus 20% for the elevation change. We're gonna use a katana ball because we do want the extra added side spin for the shot. We'll play two back spin, max right spin for our spin adjustments. All right, so two back spin, max right spin. That's what we're gonna be playing with this shot. You could possibly try to play a shot right here uh, with a shot like this. Definitely has an op a, a chance. But I've always played the shot to this right side and it's kind of what I'm used to. So that's what we're gonna continue playing. So 2.8 at mid range is going to be 1.6 rings. We're going to use some curl on this shot. You want to go to the edge of the line and then a little bit extra. Ah, we hit great right. We'll see where this one comes in. Just to the right of the hole. So perfect shot would have been good. I think that's the perfect curl amount is you want to take the right edge of your ball just to the, to the edge of that white line and then go just a little bit extra and I think that is the good curl amount. You have the blue ring touching the bunker before the adjustment and the ball guide looks like it's it's coming in about a square to the left of the hole and that's where you go ahead and use that curl to, to bring it in the rest of the way. So hopefully y'all can get that dialed in and we move on to our next hole. to the right side. We're going to be playing our drive with the quarterback. Uh, the accuracy is good. You don't really need an extra mile or it's top spin for this shot. What we're really just trying to do is set ourselves up for a nice shot with our wood. You'll either be using the Viper or a Sniper if you do have a Sniper. We're going to play our first shot at a plus 10% here on the elevation change and we're going to go with a Quasar ball here. You could go with a Katana ball with a little bit, for a little bit extra side spin to the left if you wanted to but a quasar definitely will be sufficient in my opinion. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play our shot with the edge of our blue ring right there along the edge of the rough line. If you wanna try to play the shot back farther and hop over the rough, that also will work. And with that shot, you wouldn't use curl. With this shot right here, I'm using curl. We're actually gonna be curling our shot around the, uh, the edge of that water. It's gonna give ourselves a little bit more of a push to the left and in my opinion, give you a little bit more of a line toward the hole with your wood. Uh, but either way will definitely work. So for the second shot here, we're playing a 0% elevation change on this shot. And I have the Viper, but definitely the Sniper would be a really good club to use on this hole. In fact, if you do have the Sniper leveled up a little bit, I'd recommend the Sniper. We're playing this shot pretty much uh, pretty close to, to max adjustment here. We're going to go with one bar of backspin. We want the edge of that ball guide uh, just to get over that rough line on that second bounce with one bar of backspin. If you want to go with more backspin, then you definitely want to have that ball guide extended a little bit farther past that rough line. So 3.6 wind, we adjust that shot and we're going to make our shot here hopefully hitting a perfect. We did not use any left or right spin on this shot, just one bar of backspin. Line the shot up towards the hole and hope for the best. We came up pretty close there and had a really good chance at the albatross. We'll be playing this one with the extra mile and also a backbone. You do want a, a long iron that has backspin to it, like four to five bars of backspin. So if you find that your backbone does not have that much, then you may want to look at your um, your Saturn as an option. So as you see, we'll be playing this about mid distance for our driver. We're gonna go max top spin and three bars of right spin here. 
and we want to kind of just aim this one um, put about the red ring up there on the edge and aim that ball guide up the middle so 3.4 wind with plus 10 percent is going to be 1.5 rings for our adjustment here with the extra mile Get that one perfect, and this one should be um, pretty much where we want it position wise up the fairway. So just remember if you don't have a long iron with a lot of backspin, um, especially your backbone, then you may want to look at your, your Saturn. For our second shot here, we're going to be looking at a 10% um, adjustment for our downhill. And if we were farther left, then we could think about bouncing it here, but since we're farther to the right, we're going we're gonna to play the shot off of this fringe here. As you see, that's probably our most consistent landing spot uh, on this hole. And we want to go with a uh, bad backspin here. And then we just want to line this one up as best as we can uh, towards that hole. 3.7 is going to be 2.6 rings. Hit that one perfect. Let's see how this one comes in. Very close. So definitely that's how I would play this hole. Maybe just align that ball guide up a little bit more with that left edge of the hole. But definitely uh, plus 10% is how I would play this hole. Make sure you bring your long iron with backspin. So if you don't have a backbone with at least 5 backspin, then definitely the Saturn would be your club to bring for that shot. We're going to be playing this one at plus 10% downhill. We'll play this one with a marlin ball so to keep ourselves from being out of in-between clubs. And as far as the club goes, we're going to go with the Viper or the Sniper. In this video, I will be using the Viper and I'll be playing the shot with one top spin, no left spin, no right spin. The red ring is going to be cut about halfway into the edge of the rough. What we're going to be looking for here is the end of our ball guide kind of pointing at the uh, the front left edge of the green square as you can see right there and then from there we're going to play the shot and see where we end up uh, once we see where this shot ends up we can make small adjustments to the shot uh, and as far as the adjustments goes on this shot I would do more of like target movement so I would move if I miss right on this shot I'd move that uh, initial aim point of the ball guide a little bit farther to the left uh, or to the right vice versa and it looks like we're going to miss to the right of the hole uh, by about one square. So the next time I or you play this shot, if you're going to use this setup, I would try to aim that shot a little bit farther left of the setup, setup point that I used. R5 will play 10%, plus 10% elevation off the tee box. We play an extra mile and a viper or sniper on this hole, and I'm going to be using a titan ball. You could definitely use a, a berserker ball on this hole as well to kind of take out the, the overpower factor. So definitely keep that in mind as an option for this play. But plus 10% is the play. So plus 10% we're going with our extra mile and we'll be playing let's see 2.5 is basically just about a ring ring 1.1 rings so our ball is going to land right about right there full top spin so we need to put some overpower on this one definitely so we'll top spin and some right spin here and it's a little bit of overpower. If you go with the Berserker Ball, that overpower will not be required, but with the Titan Ball, it's definitely a needed thing. So just keep that in mind. If you're playing this shot and you don't want to overpower, then you may just want to upgrade it to a Berserker or even a Power 4 Ball. So for our second shot here, playing a 0% elevation. Play this one at about mid-distance. 
Um, I'm going to play it with uh, some right, left spin, and back spin. So three and two is what we're going to go with here. Trying to aim this one towards the hole as best as we can. So 2.5 is going to be 1.2 rings, which is our mid adjustment for this shot. Hit perfect, and let's see how this one comes in. Should come in nice. Come in a little bit hot, maybe. Yep, it's a little bit hot, so maybe go three backspin, three left spin on that shot. Unless you have a little bit more of a lined up shot to the hole, then you don't have to use spin. I would say this is a, one of those shots where you have to kind of, um, kind of change up your spin depending on your location on the fairway for your drive. So if you are at a point where you have a little bit more of a straight look at the hole, then you can, you know, play that shot with not as much of a spin adjustment. But if you are like where I was, you know, you don't want to play that shot as close to that rough, so you want to play the shot a little bit farther to the right. In that case, you need to use some left spin on the shot. And nice shot by my opponent. Well done. What we're going to be doing here this time is showing you the same exact shot uh, as I played the last time, except we're going to use a berserker ball. If you remember, with the Titan, we had to overpower the shot, but with the Berserker Ball, we should be able to play the shot without any kind of overpower at all and achieve the same results. So, extra mile here, max top spin, a little bit of right spin, two bars of right spin. We want to aim the shot through the middle of that fairway area right there, We're trying to great proof our shot. You're going to see me with the edge, my red ring kind of cutting into the rough right here. If you want to play a little bit safer, you can play the shot with that red ring more at the edge of the rough, and then just add on a little bit extra right spin onto the shot uh, to you know help the ball continue towards the middle of that fairway area. So we hit this one right here, no overpower, just a regular shot, and you're going to see very similar results um, as what we had with a Titan. You are going to get a little bit more of a roll out here with this, uh, this shot and the uh, Berserker, and that will cause some issues for this next shot. Um, especially if you don't have higher level clubs in the Viper category or Sniper, you don't want to go too far up this fairway because on the drive because then you're going to be found, you're going to be stuck in a position where you are at min club real quickly and you don't have the backspin to really set up the shot. Um, with this Viper, I would have more than enough backspin, but I'm not going to use the full amount of backspin just so that it'd be more in relation to like someone that has a little bit lower level Viper. You're not going to have more than three bars of backspin on this shot. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to do the best that we can. We line the shot up with backspin and left spin. And then we're going to make our adjustment at max club. Uh, and we're going to play 0% elevation for this shot. Hit this one perfect. This one's going to come in close, but it's going to come in a little bit too hot still. Um, as a result of our shot too far a little bit up the fairway. But nonetheless, it's going to be a very easy um, putt for the eagle. Thank you all for joining me in this rookie refresh for the upcoming touchdown tournament. Hopefully this video was helpful and uh, just kind of helping you refresh uh, these holes into your mind and uh, prepare a little bit for the upcoming uh, tournament starting Monday with the qualification. Good luck to you all this weekend. Remember, Tours 5 and Tours 7 is where you can find these holes to practice. All right, y'all take care. Have a great day and God bless.